China and Russia cut down on North Korean workers. Well, uh, for those who don't know, uh, China and Russia have sent home uh, apparently more than 50% of uh, uh, their North Korean workers. And I mean, this, this is a lot of people. This is more than thousands of people in total. Uh, now this is, you know, huge. It's recording to uh, reports submitted to uh, the UN North Korean uh, Security Council uh, Sanctions Committee. But, uh, you know, uh, it's not good. Uh, you know, Russia's report, apparently Russia's report said that uh, the number of these workers um, with legit, le with legitimate work permits decreased from about 30,000 to 11,000. So that's 20,000 people, uh, you know, it's a 20,000 people decrease. It's a huge decrease. Something is going on here. So Russia's cutting down. And now China, the, I mean, most, the, I, I'd say China is the, str uh, the strongest ally of North Korea. Uh, now China is saying more than half, or just about half of its, um, of its uh, half of the North Koreans that get money uh, in China, uh, they've been uh, re uh, repatriated. So uh, you know they've been repatriated. Now that's half of the North Koreans that earn a legit salary in China, a real salary. Um, so I mean it's not it's really not good at all what's going on here. Um, uh, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, it looks like both countries are finally cutting down on this now, uh, China report, China didn't want this to go public, they, uh, they, uh, they mentioned something about not, uh, this, they didn't want this to be made public, and it's, it's gotten out in the public, we're reporting about it now, uh, apparently Reuters first, uh, reported this, but, uh, yes, um, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, uh, it's the way things have gone with North Korea. I guess this just makes it look even worse. So anyways, feel free to comment your thoughts, and that pretty much wraps it up. We just, we just wanted to briefly report this.